Gaming Bolt presents 15 Greatest Video Game Conspiracies of All Time. Gaming conspiracies are all the rage these days. It seems like everyone has some sort of creepy pasta tale about a secret level in a game or something. Most of these are easily dismissible, but sometimes there's some compelling evidence supporting these claims. Metal Gear Solid 5, Hidden Third Chapter. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain's ending was as abrupt as it was disappointing. Many fans speculated that the given relationship between series creator Hideo Kojima and developer Konami was that the game was unfinished at launch. Thanks to data mining by fans after release, we now know that there was intended to be a third chapter called Peace that didn't make the final cut. It was rumored that this would eventually be DLC, but some fans suggest this mysterious third chapter is unlockable under the right circumstances, namely completing nuclear disarmament in multiplayer mode. Mass Effect. It was about becoming a Reaper all along. Mass Effect 3's ending was universally hated by fans of the game for many reasons. One such reason was how it affected the other games. A fan theory going around, in the form of a two-hour documentary, states that the entire Mass Effect trilogy was all about the Reapers trying to indoctrinate Commander Shepard into the Reaper society, and the ending was their last push to make Shepard theirs. The theory goes that because Shepard was hit with Reaper energy in the third game and somehow resisted, he was transformed there. Final Fantasy VIII, Squall dies halfway through the game. In Final Fantasy VIII, you have to swap discs midway through the game. At the end of the first disc, Squall is impaled by a shard of ice from boss Adea. When you swap discs, Squall is totally okay and none of your party members say anything about the attack. Throw in a dream sequence in which Squall is missing his face, and there's your conspiracy theory. Pokemon. The game takes place after a global war which killed most adults. In Pokemon Red and Blue, and most of the series, there's a surprising lack of adult supervision. The game stars a kid and has a bunch of kids running around chasing dangerous Pokemon. Why is that? Well, the fan theory suggests that most adults died in a massive global war. Most of the adults you meet are women, and the police and medical facilities you find are massively understaffed. The few male adults you run into are mostly criminals, save for Professor Oak, who's too old to fight. One male adult you meet is Lieutenant Surge, a veteran who talks about how his Pokemon saved him during an unnamed war. Fallout 3 Morse Code Predicts the Future Fallout 3 is riddled with Morse code messages that suggest several bizarre things that happen to coincide with real-life events. One such message reads, 945-420-2010. Accident in the Gulf, several dead, oil spill apparently averted. At 9.45 on April 2nd, 2010, there was indeed an oil spill. The BP Deepwater Horizon disaster resulting in several deaths, Animal Crossing, indoctrinating children in cults. This conspiracy theory suggests that Animal Crossing is actually a game about a village full of animals kidnapping kids, forcing them to join a cult and making them work as slaves. The game starts with a child, the player, being driven to a village by a strange frog creature. This creature is supposedly based off of the Kappa, a Japanese folklore character who kidnaps children. You are then given a house, but told you have to work to pay it off. Then there's the mayor of the town who tells you he's always watching you from afar. Silent Hill 2, Mary's dead body in James Carr. Silent Hill 2 is a screwed up game about a man who killed his wife, Mary, and forgot he did it. One fan theory makes the game even creepier by suggesting Mary's body was in the car with him from the start of the game. James apparently stuffed her body in the trunk and drove straight to Silent Hill, where they spent a vacation together several years prior, not knowing where else to go. Team Fortress 2 The 50 Year Battle the official Team Fortress 2 comic by Valve states in no uncertain terms that the game takes place in the 1950s. However, there are robots, cell phones, and other forms of technology all over the place. How can this be? Because the battles in the game started in the 50s and never stopped, thanks to the medic who can revive players, this theory suggests the player characters have been fighting non-stop for decades, constantly killing and regenerating each other. Grand Theft Auto V The Mount Chilead Mystery Mount Chilead is one of the best locations in GTA V, and while you're there, you can find a strange map or mosaic of some kind. It's a drawing of the mountain with mysterious rooms inside, several of which are marked with an X. Players still haven't been able to figure out what it means after all these years, but guesses have ranged from alien activity to a teaser for a whole new game of some kind. Your guess is as good as anyone's. Five Nights at Freddy's Conspiracy Theories with a game like Five Nights at Freddy's, there's never just one or two theories. There are countless fan theories about the game, ranging from it being set in purgatory, to the phone guy at the start being Freddy himself, to the player character being the survivor of a massacre. One of the more popular theories is about how the game's code constantly references the number 7 and 8. These numbers have been construed to mean anything from the reference to the year 1987 to coordinates that point to something in real life. Portal 2, Chell's parents are Cave Johnson and GLaDOS. 
It's no secret that in Portal 2 we learn that GLaDOS was once a real woman, Caroline, a secretary for Cave Johnson. But many fans think that Portal's protagonist, Chell, was born from these two. The theory states that one of the last days at Aperture was Bring Your Daughter to Work Day, and after that, Caroline was transformed into GLaDOS, she then killed everyone except for Chell. She doesn't remember why she spared Chell, but she just knows that she probably shouldn't kill her, instead making her a test subject. The Madden Cover Curse We've all heard this one by now. Whatever NFL athlete graces the cover of the newest Madden game is bound to either get injured or play poorly that year. It's happened for nearly two decades with just about every athlete on the cover. Lately, however, the curse seems to have been lifted as athletes appearing on the cover have been okay and haven't played badly. Does this really mean the curse has been lifted? Undertale Conspiracy Theories Much like Five Nights at Freddy's, a game like this couldn't possibly have just one fan theory behind it. Again, some of these theories range from characters not actually existing to the protagonist being dead all along. One of the more inventive theories is that Steven from the TV show Steven Universe is Sans, one of the skeletons you meet in Undertale. The only evidence for this is speculation about a Steven Universe episode in which Steven dies, and that the developer Toby Fox is friends with the creator's show, thus being able to watch the episode before it was ordered to be rewritten by the Cartoon Network. Apparently Fox modeled Sans after Steven to give him a second chance. Limbo, you killed your sister. Limbo is a dark and cruel game, but it's an ambiguous one. Some think the whole game is about both the player character and his sister, whom you meet at the end of the game, being dead and in limbo. They also think that both were killed by falling from their treehouse after the boy pushed his sister out of a fit of rage, then jumped out himself upon seeing his sister's body. If that's not the most screwed up thing you've ever heard, I feel sorry for you. PT, the fetus, the killer, and the ghost. There are some weird theories around PT which is to be expected whenever Hideo Kojima is involved. Many believe that the fetus, the killer, and the ghost you meet in the game are allusions to real life people, events, games, and even a critique of Konami by Kojima. The ghost is the ghost of Metal Gear, because Kojima thinks the franchise should have died a long time ago, but Konami forced him to continue working on it. The fetus represents Kojima himself, a young, promising talent that was aborted by Konami, forcing him to work on nothing but Metal Gear games his entire career. The killer, of course, represents Konami itself and how it killed his career. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video and happy gaming.